Hello chess lovers, I have a fantastic game for you which is known as the immortal draw game. With the white pieces is playing Carl Hempy and his opponent is an Austrian lawyer and chess master Philipp Meitner. The game was played in 1870 in Vienna. Hempy started with e4 and e5 by Meitner. Knight c3, white goes for the Vienna game, bishop c5. Usually in this position, white is playing knight f3 or bishop c4 or f4 or g3, but white played not a good move, knight a4. And now you can pause the video and try to find black's next move. Actually, Black has only developed his bishop, but already he goes for a sacrifice. This is move 3, and there it goes. Bishop takes f2 check. King takes f2, and the queen jumps to h4 square, giving a check. King e3, of course, if you play king e2, then Black will capture on e4 with a check, fork the king and the knight, and in the end of the day, Black is 2 pawns up. And also, white king is in danger. Let's go back, after queen h4 check, we see king e3, queen f4 check, king d3, d5, king c3, this king is just escaping and black is going for a king hunt, queen takes e4, king b3, protecting the knight, and knight a6, not a good move, a more aggressive looking move is knight c6. If c3 controlling the d4 square, then d4, and black has a very strong attack. This bishop can join the attack, the knight from a5, and this is going to be very dangerous for white. But instead, after king b3, we see knight a6 and a3. Controlling the b4 square and not allowing queen b4 checkmate. Also opening up this a2 square for the king to escape. But actually it was better to play d4. If e takes d4 then bishop takes a6, removing this dangerous knight and only then play a3. But instead after knight a6 we see a3 and now comes a fantastic move by Philipp Meintner. Here comes, queen takes a4 check, sacrificing the queen. King takes a4, knight c5 check. This knight c5 is very important in order to control the b3 square and not allow the king to escape. We see king b4, here comes a5 check, sacrificing the knight as well. King takes c5 and knight e7. Actually, right now black is threatening b6 check followed by bishop d7 checkmate. And the only move which saves white is bishop b5 check. All other moves are losing and white found this bishop b5 check. King d8, another fantastic move. This king is coming to support his pieces in order to checkmate white king. Right now, if we have a look at the position, black is threatening checkmate in one, b6 checkmate. And again, the only move which saves white, bishop c6. It's very important this bishop c6 move in order after b6 check not allow bishop d7 checkmate. For example, if you play bishop a4, then b6 check followed by bishop d7 checkmate. Let's go back. After bishop c6, we see b6 check, king b5, knight takes c6, king takes c6, and another fantastic move, bishop b7 check sacrificing this bishop as well, but now it turns out that white can't accept that sacrifice. White played king b5, well if a move like king takes b7, then king d7, and the threat is rook b8 checkmate. There is no way to avoid that mate, of course white can give a check, but simply king d6 and it's over, white is losing. That's why after bishop b7 check we see king b5, bishop a6 check and the players agreed to a draw because black is just giving a perpetual check. That was truly a spectacular game by Philipp Meintner. If you liked this crazy game don't forget to give the thumbs up or subscribe to my channel, more videos are coming, good luck.